Thanks for coming down today. Thanks, it's my last day. Is it? Yeah. Have a safe journey home. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Appreciate it, man. No problem. Thanks for coming out. Really appreciate the support. Yeah, we wouldn't miss it for anything. Thanks a lot. Bro. Awesome, buddy. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> there you go. Have a good day. Safe journey home. I'm from London. London? Yeah. How's it going, man? Do you like football better or rugby? Yeah, football's cool. <laughs> As the preseason progresses, the international athletes get a sense of life as an NFL player. <laughs> Fans have begun to recognize their accomplishment of making it this far. But that isn't enough. Their goal is to make the roster, despite the odds being stacked against them. At the beginning of training camp, each team hosts a total of 90 players, all of which have previous college or NFL experience. After the conclusion of the final preseason game, the roster will be cut to 53. For the pathway players, being among the last men standing would be monumental. My goal is never to make the practice squad. My goal is always to make the team. Pump. Good. I want to play in the NFL and I will do whatever I have to do to accomplish that goal. Good mouth. It's a lot of hard work, but I expected that anyways. And we just have to come in each and every day and just give our, put our best foot forward and be able to prepare to win football games. I think the thing that I've tried to do is make sure that the mistakes that I'm making on the field are just from the lack of football experience instead of effort. You, you can be fast, you can be strong, you can be whatever. But if you don't know what you're doing, just a waste, a waste of talent. Oh. My number one priority is to make a team, uh, to learn, to perform, and to be a good player. Throughout the preseason, fighting the veterans for reps on the field is no easy task. With so few chances to prove their worth, the difference between being cut and making the team could be determined by a single rep, a challenge that was gladly accepted. One thing they've really seen in me is my toughness. When I have got the reps that I got on the field, I've been able to make some impact plays, so it just shows that I can play in this league. To the 26 yard line. Yeah, it's different to go against the big boys. Play fake to Walton, throws it. And this to Moritz Boringer, the German. By no means is it finished. There's still a large gap that needs to be closed, but if I look at how much I've improved in such a short amount of time, it just fills me with confidence. After evaluating their performance over the last two months, all five Pathway prospects have been awarded a spot on their team's roster. Jordan Maialata's situation is a little different. He has positioned himself to not only make the team, but the active 53-man roster. I think maybe the best story in the entire National Football League is here in Philadelphia, and that's left tackle Jordan Maialata. I didn't think he had a shot at making the Eagles 53. I thought he was a practice squad guy only. They're saying Maialata might make the 53, not some fun international project, not yeah. some international story that we put up. He might make the 53 yeah. because he has been that impressive in making that many strides. He is competing with NFL defensive ends That's and protecting great. quarterbacks, having not played football in any setting until July. This kid's got heavy hands, great balance, naturally powerful. He's making the 53, and he might be your left tackle of the future. Jordan was officially informed that he has made the active roster on the Philadelphia Eagles, a truly remarkable accomplishment for the former rugby player.
each of the Pathway players have achieved so much over the eight months they've been in the program. Christian Scotland Williamson was a rugby convert, best known for making one big tackle. Now he's on the Pittsburgh Steelers practice squad. Chris Izala wrote his father a letter as a boy who had just discovered the sport in Germany, promising he'd be an NFL player. Now he's actually on the Baltimore Ravens practice squad. Tiggy Sanko moved to London as a teenager and thought his career as an American football player would end. Now he's on the Cleveland Browns practice squad. Moritz Boehringer was looking for a second chance after being cut by the Minnesota Vikings. He got it after making the Cincinnati Bengals practice squad. Each of the four players can look to a member of the 2017 Player Pathway Program, F.A. Obata, for inspiration. After spending the 2017 season on the Panthers practice squad, F.A. made the Panthers roster for the 2018 season. I'm very happy, and um, I just want to say I'm, I'm grateful. I'm proud to be a Carolina Panther, and uh, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm happy. Thank you. <laughs> it's, it's good to sometimes take even just a fleeting moment to look back and not admire your work, but acknowledge how much it's taken. When we were starting at IMG Academy, you know, my dream was like, trying to understand what left tackle position was. And you know, now being here in this moment, you, you finally realize that it, it is life changing. When I first got to IMG Academy three months ago, my dream was playing the NFL and now it's reality. I had that huge passion for football that I just got infected. I think that the biggest thing that I've realized is it always seems impossible until it's done. I had to do it. I had to make it. That's the what if. <laughs> I made it. And because I didn't give up. It's, it's so weird how in such a short time, five guys can become like brothers. One, two, three. How are you? It's been such an interesting ride. It's been such a unique journey that's been shared by so few people that you can't help but always have a bond with them. I think that's a good thing about football, or maybe just all sports in general, that like you can make some, some great friends and potentially be you know, lifelong friends. And that's what I love. Against all odds, all five players involved in the Player Pathway program have made it onto an NFL team for the 2018 season. They will forever be recognized as pioneers for helping expand the game internationally. <laughs>